Good morning, everybody from Chicago. Uh, sporting shit, you can't see it. I was sporting the Pac-Man mug, but fuck, man, it only shows when it's hot. So I guess I'm drinking cold coffee for the rest of the day. Uh, Chicharito Hernandez, he could have incredible coffee in the Premier League because it seems like a move back to England is imminent. Now, the Mexican striker, the all-time goals leader for El Tri, and knowing that it is a World Cup year, is just trying to get first-team playing time and also play against the best competition that he possibly can. Here is how all of this started, with this dirty, dirty little rumor now becoming something that it appears is quite possible. Now, the team that is interested via Sky Sports, West Ham, close to agreeing a 13 million pound deal for Javier Chicharito Hernandez. First game would be, oh, Manchester United back at Old Trafford on the 13th of August. Remember, he spent five years in the Premier League. Sir Alex Ferguson brought him in, and he was, well, played very well for Manchester United coming out of Old Trafford. Now, when he left Manchester United, he went to Bayer Leverkusen, where his first season, the goal-scoring rate was just sheer dominance. It was like uh, it was like Marcus Rashford before Marcus Rashford just at an even better pace. Yet he fell off a little bit the next season in the Bundesliga. Fifty-four goals in th or excuse me, fifty-four games played, thirty-eight goals. Uh, and also the other thing to take into account: there's a new coach at Bayer Leverkusen. So Hernandez, again, knowing that he just played in the Confederations Cup, where Mexico finished fourth. Whether you think it's a disappointment or not, comment section below. But also knowing that it is a World Cup year, if he goes to the Premier League, this would be an incredible move, not just for him, but also for West Ham. Because, in my opinion, Slavin Bilic, who had a very, very good few years, uh, first year, and knowing that they have a new stadium as well in London, they are trying to make a splash, and they are doing so right now. Getting Joe Hart. They obviously still have Andy Carroll. Getting a few others as well into the mix. Uh, Arnautovic from Stoke. Also a very, very good signing in my opinion. Can play on the wing, can play midfield, can also play striker. So they are loading up on pieces. The question is though, what is the ceiling for West Ham and Slavin Bilic if they do go get Chicharito? How do you believe he will play off of Andy Carroll? Or is Andy Carroll just the super sub now? The other thing to take into account is Chelsea are still interested in Chicharito services. But if you were Chicharito, would you go to West Ham or would you go to Chelsea? And the other part to this, the other branch to this Chelsea tree, is if you were Chicharito, are you going to get first team playing time no matter what? Because obviously missing out on Romelu Lukaku, who they first had at one point, was a serious blow to Chelsea. But if you're Hernandez, which do you go to? Do you end up going to West Ham where you can get great playing time? Or do you go to Chelsea where it may not be a given, but you will get your reps here and there? It's, it's an interesting debate and it's an interesting question. Uh, the last thing about this, and I know that Mexico and the United States have a rivalry. I have always liked the way he has played. I have always liked the way Dos Santos has played. There is no hatred between myself as an American and El Tri. I like the style of football that they play and that they build up through their system. The problem, not even the problem, the solution uh, to many clubs is getting Chicharito in and how much is it? This is potentially the bargain of the summer because his release clause, as stated in that tweet from Sky Sports, is $13 million. For that goal-scoring pace, it seems like a win-win, especially for West Ham. Now, if he fizzles out at West Ham, this is going further into it, where does he go? Does he go to Major League Soccer, where he would be paid so supremely well? Let me know. Thoughts in the comments section below. Uh, get at me on Twitter, at Rick Strom, on Instagram, at Ricky Strom. Last thing very quickly. If you are West Ham, and I want to throw this out there, and we could even make this another clip with Francis and myself, but if you are West Ham, who do you want to go after? Do you want to go after Ayanacho from Manchester City? Do you want to go after Olivier Giroud from Arsenal? Or would you rather have Javier Chicharito Hernandez? My opinion, I think I'd rather stick with Chicharito because you know what you're getting.
Let me know. Thoughts in the comments section below and subscribe to TYT Sports.